Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tommy here for an upload. Um, I just want to give you guys an update on Western Express's orientation. So, it is a two-day orientation, and so far, I don't have many complaints. I do have a couple, which we'll hear about later in this video. But, let's start out with day one of orientation. So, day one of orientation was okay. You go in... You sign some paperwork, and you go to do um, to take your drug test, which is fine. You do got to do your physical if you don't have a previous physical already, which I did not, so I had to take a physical and take a drug test. The drug test is just a pee test, which I think is kind of ridiculous because anybody can pass a pee test. Um, one of my old partners actually passed it with Quick Fix. Don't know if you guys have heard of that, but... It's basically fake pee. Um, I'm going to let you guys know now. I say um a lot because this is my first video. I'm not very... Uh, I'm very new to this. So please give me a break. Um, day one of orientation was alright. I can't complain too much. I mean, I can, but who's going to listen? I mean, I guess you guys are listening, but... That's here nor there. Um... Day two of orientation, they just go over a safety safety thing with you, and that's all fine and dandy. That's There's nothing wrong with that. Um, they also... I've been, wait, I've been here for two weeks, and I've been waiting for a trainer for two weeks. For a two-day. Again, two-day orientation. I've been here for two weeks in this motel. Uh, I'm from California, so they put, I'm in Fontana, this, I'm in the Fontana terminal, they, they're not very strict, but they do give you meal cards, they give you two five dollar meal cards for McDonald's, which in my opinion is bullshit, because the McDonald's that's in the same parking lot as the motel has been closed for two months. For reconstruction that I, I don't I don't get it why would you give me ten dollars for McDonald's when I can't even get there thankfully I brought my own vehicle so I don't have to rely on Western Express to transport me to go get me food I'm not on their schedule I'm on my own and then they give you an eight dollar uh, subway gift card again eight dollars for subway if you're like me and like avocado and all the extra doodads and stuff on your sandwich um they if you have, if you know subway eight dollars is not enough for a foot long with avocado and a drink you got last time i went it was about i want to say 13 or 14 dollars so i had to come out of pocket seven or eight dollars just so i can eat for the day um they put you in the Econo Lodge Motel, which is not bad, other than you have a roommate. I'll show you the motel. This is your, uh, where you eat, I mean, where you eat, where you brush your teeth and, you know, you get a nice little, uh, bathroom, but for some reason, my shower leaks right here, so the floor gets all soaked. That's why all these thick, uh, towels are right there. I'm, brought my own towels. I don't really trust motel towels. Oh yeah, the door doesn't lock. You do get a roommate. My roommate uh, just went out for training. So that's here nor there. You get a nice little dinky microwave, a dinky fridge. You see I got all my uh, coffee creamer that I got from the 76 station. You get a nice little dresser and a little TV. Little table with one chair. I brought my own coffee maker because they try to tax for coffee here. Um, and then you get a nice, nice view of the storage facility next door. Uh, the motel is right next to the, I don't know if you guys can see that out there, but next to the 210 freeway. Um, so far, I can't say anything good nor bad about Western Express and their orientation. All I can say is that 
if you're a smoker like I am, smoking cigarettes, that is, because in this trucking community, you cannot do any sorts of drugs, which, in my opinion, is the best thing for it, because the last thing we need is somebody drunk or high on drugs trying to navigate a truck, and if you're like me and you don't want to die, you like your life, <laughs> you don't want to hop in a truck with somebody that's been doing drugs or drinking. Uh, the facilities here at uh, the Econo Lodge Motel are nice. The only thing is, is that the ladies here don't speak one word of English. So to get, I've been asking for three days to come vacuum my floor. And it still has not been vacuumed. I also don't like the way the room smells, so I brought my dryer sheets. I put my dryer sheets in the AC slash heater so it smells decent when I come in. The vending machines. There we go, the vending machines. Oh my lord, are they expensive. If you want a normal bag of Doritos, $2.50. $2.50. You want an Arizona or a Peace Tea? Two fifty. That's five dollars for a bag of chips and a drink. In my opinion, that's it's kind of crazy if you ask me. Um, again, I can't say anything bad or good about Western Express and their orientation, but so far they have been dicking me around. I guess you could say because I smoke cigarettes and they have not, um, they have not gotten me a trainer yet. I've been waiting for a trainer for two weeks for a two day orientation. But like I said, that's here nor there. I'm walking around my room because I don't know what to do. There's nothing to do out here in Fontana. There's n nothing to see, nothing to do. I guess if you want, you could uh, sit here and stare at the, I don't know if you could see that right there, that little light. Uh, that's an airplane because the airport's right down the street. So you get airplanes, the train, and freeway noise all in one. So if you're a fan of that, that's fine and dandy, but for me, that's not cool. But if you guys have any questions on uh, Western Express or how they function or anything, please don't hesitate to uh, shoot me an email at It'll be right up here. Clement.tommy70 at gmail.com. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions. And when I find out, well, when I get my trainer and we figure out, you know, how long I'm going to have to be doing training for, because I am a new driver. I did just get my license on sep September 6th of 2019. Um, we'll see how that goes. That's another thing. They do have very, very nice vehicles or very nice trucks. It's a they have a 2020, um, what is International LTC10, which is gorgeous. They have a 2020 um, Freightliner Cascadia, which is beautiful, and then they have the Volvo. The Volvo it rides nice and everything, but it's only like a 67, 68 inch sleeper. If you think about it, that's not much room at all. But again, if you guys have any questions, any comments, anything, go ahead and drop them down in the comments or email me at this email right up here. Uh, you guys have a good day, and I will definitely update you guys when I get my trainer. Have a good one. Talk to you guys later. See ya.